Howdy folks, welcome back to Let's Play Sinjid Shadow of the Warrior. I'm going to make my way up here to the training room so that we can get to level 4 real quick before our next fight. It's not really going to be an exciting level up because I'm still saving up my skill points. Uh, we're really waiting for level 5. But we'll grab some easy experience while we're able. Now, you could grind here. You know, you could try to grind as much as your money allows on the training ward. And you have all those rests that allow you to get back all your energy. But I, I don't think it's really that worth it in the game. I think, in some ways, it's worth getting some experience. But, but there's a point where it becomes excessive. You do not need to be level 50 to beat this game. I don't even know if you can get to level 50, come to think of it. I think 20 is the highest. Or at least the highest I've ever seen. Um... Ooh, looks like we're going to take him out. Alright, that was a good level up. And we're going to increase our life again. And we're going to ignore it. Now, again, if you increase your strength, you can equip better stuff. However, the reason why I'm not increasing it, even though there is better stuff I wish I could use right now, is simply because when you reach level 5 and 10, everything goes up regardless. So I will get strength increases along the way. So I don't need to increase it myself. It'll get up there. It won't get up there so high that I can, you know, unleash some super awesome uh, armor. You know, wield some super awesome weapon. But it'll get up there enough that I can have sufficient gear. Okay, again, we're seeing uh, the warrior here. Just that... You know, really high shield, high HP. And we have a raider, just probably the most basic enemy in the game. Again, I generally like to take out whichever one's weaker so I don't have two attacks coming at me each turn. That's kind of my strategy. Let's see, let's try to get this guy out of here. Oh yeah, this fight's gonna be no problem. Now, I haven't used any of the skills down here. Um, I guess I can show you them just to show you what they do. Uh, if you level them up, because you can get them to higher levels. Here's a double one. That's pretty cool. It uses MP though, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, we'll attack just to get rid of that last bit of shield. And to be honest, they don't do more damage than your regular attack. You have to devote multiple skill points in each skill for them to be really, really worth it. Now that charge attack did pretty good damage. That was 64. But our regular attack is 54, so it's, it's just, it doesn't feel as worth it. If you know you're going to level up, go ahead and just waste all your um, mana. But if you're not, then may as well save it. Who knows? Alright, that's probably the closest we've gotten to, to losing yet, but um, sure enough, you know, we're still standing. So what I'm going to do here, again, use those rests. You have no reason not to. And head back. And keep on going. We're just going to cruise right through the human gateway here. Now there are 20 levels to the human gateway. And you only need to complete all 20 levels of the human gateway to leave this palace. Or temple, or whatever it is. However, there are 10 monster gateways, and then I can't even remember what the... the the, the last places, but there's five of those. So there's 35 fights that you have to win in this game. And I'm going to try to do this in, um, what, five episodes, I guess? I guess that would probably make sense. Seven, seven fights per episode. We'll see how that goes. But some of these fights are definitely going to get a little long in the tooth, um, especially until we upgrade our armor a little bit better here we got to wait for our next level up to necessarily do that. The next thing you want to keep note of when you play this game is what's the max damage an enemy can deal to you. Like, so far I've seen this guy deal 21 damage, and that's pretty devastating. So I think I'm going to start doing some of these just to get a little bit extra damage down on him. Because otherwise, uh, we're not going to win this fight anywhere near as fast. 
Okay, yeah, keep doing that. That's like your best attack, dude. You know, don't don't let him know that it's not, but... There we go. Alright, he's just gonna keep healing. That's gonna be a little annoying. Alright, back into our War of Attrition. Alright, we can take another hit from him. Okay, we can't take another hit from him, but he can't take another hit from us, so we win. Excellent. Now, if there is ever a time to go uh, rest, it's definitely right now. The other thing that I'm going to recommend if you play this game, no matter how you play it, uh, just make sure you have, you know, enough things on you at any given time. Enough uh, potions. You don't necessarily need mana potions if you play the way I do, but can't hurt. Okay, the Assailant. Now you look at his HP and his shield and you're like, whatever, dude. However, he has really high speed, which means we're going to miss a lot. He also hits, like, a like just a freight train sometimes, dealing crazy amounts of damage. However, we should only have to hit him three or four times to take him out. So, there's the, uh, there's the cost... Uh, benefit ratio for you. Now if you wanted to invest a point into speed just so you have an easier time dealing with these folks, I definitely wouldn't wouldn't uh, uh, would tell you I wouldn't tell you that's a bad idea because uh, these guys are pretty annoying even though they go down again with just so few hits. Oh boy, he's really taking this fight, uh, taking this fight out. There we go. Hey, bonus skill point at level 5 as well. You'll notice our strength and speed also go up. Gotta keep on that life, uh, bandwagon. There we go. Put a point in there. Nothing else. Don't need to. <laughs> Alright, but with that extra increase in strength, we can go buy some new items. Just so that we have an easier time of fighting here. Let's see, this is the best weapon we have. 24 physical damage to the 16. I'll take it. I'll we'll talk to this guy here. Let's see, he wants to sell us this armor here. And I'm happy to take it off his hands. Easy. I didn't talk about the skill we picked up, but the skill we picked up is just like passive damage increase. Definitely one I could see you uh, just dumping a bunch of points into. Um, we won't be doing that though. Okay, a horrible combo of Seer and Warrior. Because of the Seer's ability to heal, I actually will switch targets here and take out the Warrior first. Because the Seer can just take an eternity to take out because of his ability to heal. Whereas the Warrior, I know I'm going to take him out in, you know, N number of turns. Especially after his shield's gone, he won't have much to say. Alright, they got through our shield. Uh, that Seer doesn't even do that much damage, so he's okay to even stick around for a little bit. Plus, his, his weird AI of randomly healing um, also kind of makes him a non-threat. Okay, so we're going to take this warrior out here in the next three turns. That seer can go ahead and waste his turns here. I'm glad you can't heal shield. That would definitely make... Uh, there's a healing ability that you can get. That would definitely make that worthwhile if that was the case. Alright, the Seer's gonna go down pretty quick here. There's a shield. All gone. He's not dealing us any damage. Oh, but he is healing. Oh, please don't do this. Your fight will take so much longer if this is the case. Can I just do some of these? It's good damage. That was nice.
Ooh, 74. That's crazy. Alright, get out of here. Thank you. Okay, so now we're looking pretty beaten right now. And so, uh, I mean, I think what I would recommend is it's probably a good idea if you want to be optimal. Again, this isn't one of those games that you have to be optimal to win. But, for example, I'm going to go use a rest, but I still have plenty of energy. So what I might decide to do here is just grab some quick, easy experience. And then, uh, go rest. Again, energy or experience not is not really that necessary in this game. However, I do want to get to level 10 as quickly as possible. That certainly is a uh, uh, high on my to-do list. All right. One of the things you'll notice, by the way, when you do this basic training, is you cannot. Um, or you don't get experience when you get rid of their shield or when you uh, defeat the training ward. So that's kind of an interesting uh, quirk. There's a car going by right outside my apartment. Quite loud. Quite loud. Alright, that'll be enough experience because we won't get anything from defeating it. Sounds good. I, I hope I got experience from that. I don't, it didn't look like I did. But what do I know? Get around this guy. Go ahead and rest. Oh no, did I just double rest? Did I just waste a rest? It's fine. It's not that necessary. There will be a point in this game where I have so much money, I, I can't waste enough of it. Okay, so an assailant and a mercenary. It, I think it's definitely a tough call between what you want to take out here. Um, just because of the ability to miss the assailant so often. I'm going to just keep trying to, to double hit it. Because I know that the mercenary can heal, so it might waste time trying to do that. If that's the case, then we're going to be perfectly fine. Doesn't seem like he's doing it now, though. And also, it's good to get rid of this assailant, just because he hits really hard. I mean, 13's not that bad, but, you know, it's not 7. <laughs> They're 17, that's pretty good. Yeah, this fight it can, can definitely go the way of luck, just because of uh, how often you can miss that assailant. Luckily, we just got a really uh, lucky two in a row there. Alright, this mercenary hits hits hard too, so don't uh, don't count him out. I'm going to heal here just preemptively, because I know I'll have to anyway. Alright, shield's gone. Let's get that HP out of here. Oh, we hit him for 63? That's awesome. I mean, he's healing, but... Minor point, I think. Ouch. Um, I might end up playing through this game with the other classes too, just because I think they are interesting. Um, the mana bomb of the spellcaster is interesting. Just the sheer ability to never get hit with the the speed class is interesting. Balanced, I wouldn't touch, but but you could, you know, you could have fun with it. HP, you know how it goes. Saving up those skill points. Alright, so now we have a new weapon here. It does 13 damage. Still not good enough, so we're going to... Um, we're going to ignore it. It's, it's a better weapon for shields, but I could care less. I guess I should say I couldn't care less, right? Okay, I'm going to take the time here to go up over and check out this guy, because he's another uh, salesman of goods. And he can sell us this really awesome shield. Which we'll take. Because 
good shields can definitely save you. I think shields are shields and weapons are definitely the things you need to pay attention to the most. Probably headbands are the least, just because there's not a great selection in what they do. But yeah, shields and, and weapons, definitely what you want. I probably should have got more potions, to be honest, just because we're running low. You never really want to dip below 10 HP potions. Okay, so now we have an agent here. He is uh, quite beefy. Look at that 550 HP, that's pretty strong. Uh, they can also heal, and they do a decent amount of damage. 23 is pretty good for what we've seen so far. 24 is also good. But again, this is why I go for uh, health, because I like being able to take a lot of hits. If possible. There we go. And now we just enter this war of attrition here. We're going to have to use a health potion, but that's okay. I mean, if he wants to keep healing, we'll eventually win this way. No? Okay. Well, hey, I haven't seen him do 27 damage yet, so I'll take my chances with that. There we go. Easy. Didn't even have to use a health potion. I mean, I say that, but I definitely have to go get healed right now. Uh, we'll buy those after I do this. There we go. And I think I'm going to stop it there for today. Uh, thanks for watching Sinjid Shadow of the Warrior. Hope you're having fun with the playthrough as much as I am. Uh, I'll catch you next time and have a good day. And thanks for watching.